Yeah. I wonder why we always die. I wonder why we get shot down. Nah. Yeah. I guess this is how it go. Black man died shot in the street again. Morning over bodies asking what's his religion. It never shocked me that he was a Christian. We've been dying over white man lies. Been niggas in the white man eyes. Interjection, we need intercession. The only thing we ever want to do is talk about it. I'm done begging and I'm tired of talking. I realize that the problem persists. You would think that we was equal, but that never existed. All this oppression here behind these black and white friendships. Make me wonder why they always trying to push us under. Other nations come here and get placed in bubbles. I ain't never seen no Chinese march. I ain't never seen no A-Raps protest. Voting for a message just to hang us by throats next. Bullets in the barrel, use a nigga for practice. It's been a long time coming, and we still in the last place. Policy, all the devil screaming, vote for me. His blood in my eyes. My son asked if his pop gon' make it. He wanna tell him all that, but he afraid to say it. Who ready for a revolution? For a revolution. Yeah, for a revolution. Is you ready to die? You know that change only come with the bloodshed. Who wanna see us back on top? Would you ever sacrifice yourself just to see a wicked generation stay in survival? I knew people when I was young, and I knew people that lived here that were killed. Just like down the street at Ravenswood, I know people that lived in that were killed. There. Why? For breaking God's commandments. Like you said earlier, we are our worst enemy. We have always been. Right. Give me that, give me that in Psalms chapter 17. No, we are to blame. We are to blame. And you know what? The Most High used the so-called white man to do his bidding. These police here, that's all of the Lord. All these cops that control here, the three big uh, north and south houses, that's all the Most High God. Because without policing, you know what we would do? We'd be killing each other left and right. I just told them and told them that I'm going to pray for them. Sister, the thing is we need to keep God's men. Watch this. Got it? Psalm 17, verse 13. I'm going to show you that the Most High God sent the so-called white man in uniform as police officers because why? The Most High is angry with us and the Most High sent them to patrol us. Okay? Watch this. Arise, O Lord. Disappoint him. Uh-huh. Cast him down. The Most High said, cast him down. Read. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Deliver my soul from the wicked because what we have to understand is the so-called white man is the wicked the Bible speaks of. He right. is the wicked. He put us in the condition we're in. Right. The most I used him. You understand? Read. Which is thy sword? Which is what? Which is thy sword? Read the whole thing again. Arise, O oh Lord. Come on. Disappoint him. Disappoint, di disappoint the devices that the white man has set up. Like putting drugs in our community. That's all the setup from the so-called white man. Absolutely, to destroy the children of Israel. Read, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Deliver my soul from the wicked, so-called white man. His name, his name in the Bible is Esau. The so-called white man. No, no, no. It's, it's, they, it's, they put us in a condition of slavery. It's not all white people. I'm not gonna go. Who's the so-called white man? Let me ask you, sister. Who did this? Who, who did this? Yeah, who did this? So-called white man. There's good. God says otherwise. God says this. God, that's what God says. It's in the Bible. Watch. Read that. Read that. Watch this. Which way you at? Arise, O oh Lord. Disappoint him. Come on. Cast him down. The most I said, cast the so-called white man down. Cast our enemy down. Because right now, he's on top. Look at how he lives. Look across the street. Look at how he lives. Look at where he dwells. And look at where we dwell. But then they got the nerve to say we're all one in Christ Jesus. If we're all one in Christ Jesus, how can we're over here and they're over there? Because maybe they decide to work hard because we have to go. We built, we built America for them. We built it by hand. But how can they say we're all one, but they live over there and we live here in the jump room? We're not all one. That's what I'm trying to show you. We are not. What we gotta understand, get me Micah. Get me Micah, um, arise. This is natural rest. Sister, what you gotta understand is we were not brought here, these brothers, we were not brought here to assimilate. We were not brought here to stay and to make it a better place for the so called white man and us. You know, what's that song? Make it a better place 
for you and for me and the entire human race. That's garbage. Right. I'll tell you straight up, that's garbage. That's not what we were brought here for. We were brought here to America to repent for our sins. I'm going to show it to you. Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart. Arise ye. Arise you so-called blacks and Hispanics. Whether I hear texting text on the phone. You read what the Most High says. Read that again. Arise ye and depart. Arise and depart, meaning what? Flee from America's ideology. Free from their voting. Free from their holidays, like today, so-called Father's Day. Free, flee from Mother's Day. Flee from Christmas. God says flee all of that. Get away from it. Thanksgiving, God says don't do none of that. Read that again. Arise ye and depart. Uh huh. For this is not your rest. America is not our rest. Right. Queensbridge Houses here is not our rest. Right. God is saying he's got something better for us. And it ain't here. So we're not brought here to assimilate. Give me first thing. There's more? Say that again. Right, but no, I understand what you're saying, but our people think America is the place. Our people think America is where we is our final destination. America is not our final destination. We're going back home to Jerusalem. That's New right. Jerusalem. We're foreigners, here. we're foreigners here. And we're living like so, as you can see. What you got? Because it is polluted. Read it, read it from, from the top. Arise ye and depart. God said, Arise from America. Flee Babylon the Great in your spirit. Flee from the pollution here. Why? For this is not your rest. Queensbridge, New York is not the rest for blacks and Hispanics. Right. This is not our final destination. And the most is going to show you why. Because it is polluted. Because America is polluted. What is America polluted with? Polluted. Who? Man. What man? All men. All men? There's a God, particular God man that did that. Who? But no. All right. I'm going to help you say what man, <laughs> what man says, what man polluted? All of us. When we be disobedient, we destroy what God made good. Give me, hold that. Give me uh, Malachi 1. Let's see. You said man polluted. I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you, sister, I'm going to tell you straight. The so called white man polluted it. Right. Let's just be yeah, pure. We did not pollute it without sin. We pollute, no. The so called white man polluted it on a mass level. On a mass level. And on we, a worldwide and we're level. Helping them by not all, all we're doing, we just follow. Bring it we have no say so in anything. I'll give an example. Who okayed same sex marriage? Because Bring it that's out. a form of pollution. Who okayed that? Who gave that the okay? It doesn't matter who okayed, okayed it. It's, it's not what you walk through, it's how you walk through it. No, because so in the system, this system, choice. this system is set up with laws, right? It is who set up. who said it is now law what? that two men can marry? Who did that? Who did it? God gave us a mind to choose. No, no, no. But my question to you is, who did it? Because it's a law. It's a written law now uh, that so two and, two men and, can marry. And also, blacks and whites who create the law. Now. No, 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 it's no. Not all white. Blacks don't create nothing. It's right. the so-called white man. I'm gonna show you that he is the wicked that rules the world. Bring Watch this. Come on, Malachi chapter 1, verse 1, come on. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. The burden, the heaviness of the word of the Lord to Malachi, to the children of Israel, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, who America calls the minority. But in reality, we are the majority. And we also, we also, it's stiff-necked. Yes, we are stiff-necked, but we don't run the world, though. We are not the one that pass laws. We are. It is okay. not the bulk of blacks and Latinos that That's are right. in legislature. That's right. That's right. Who's there? Because legislature is the one that creates the laws. Right. Who is who is the well, race of people? people what well, we are not the laws. majority that not. make it. So my question to you, sister, listen, listen carefully. Who in the legislature? Because it ain't us. Who are they that create the laws? Thank you. And God says so. Read that again. The burden of. The word of the Lord Come on. to Israel by Malachi. Uh huh. I have loved you, saith the Lord. So the Lord said that he loved us, even though it may not look like it based on our condition. God said he loved us. Read. 
yet ye say, wherein has thy love us? Because when we look at the way we live here, we say, how does God love us? How, how does God love us that we're living in projects, in the worst projects in America? Read. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Wasn't the so-called white man our brother? Because Esau is the so-called white man. He was our fraternal twin. When you read Genesis, the 25th chapter. Okay, read on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Uh -huh. Save the Lord. Because we're Jacob, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes and Latinos and the Native American Indians, we're Jacob. Read. Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. So God said he loved us and he hated the so-called white man. This is Bible we're reading. This is the Holy Bible. But now, where you from? Where you from? You, from, you live here? But you understand, what's going on over here? Drugs, crime, what else goes on here? You live here too? Yeah. What goes on here? What do you see out here on the daily? You know why? We're breaking God's commandments. Give me that real quick. Give me Leviticus. You know what I want? 19, 1917. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the root of what's going on here. This is why police are patrolling us. Read this here. Leviticus 19, verse 17. Come on. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Do you hear what God said? God says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Let me ask you, who is your brother? Ooh, everybody, everybody's not your brother. Your brother are the people on the side of you. The so-called blacks and Hispanics, that's your people. That's your brother. But do our people love their brother? Uh, do our people love each other here? No. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh-huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Because, let me ask you, when you hate your brother, when our people hate each other here, what does it amount to? Death, murder, thou shalt not kill. But we're doing it to our own people that God says, you shall not spill the blood of one of your own. And that's what we're doing here on the daily. That's the problem. If we kept this law right here, thou shalt not hate that brother that hurt, there's no need for police. Do you understand? Everything is here in the Bible. Everything is here, but we're breaking God's law. Didn't Christ say we should love each other as we love ourselves? No, indeed, but it's a self. That. Say that again? So set up we got here. You remember that. Exactly, but why? Why was it set up like that? Well, basically, you know, basically in the crisis, what I know you come is that the project was set up to kill off the black man, to kill off everybody that was in the project. Right, yes. right, right. Perfect, perfect. What they did was they figured, you know what, let's put everybody in a small house. That's right. A two family, two people, two family in a one house, uh -huh. a house. Uh -huh. And that's where it went to. Exactly. And they said, fuck, we're going to throw drugs in there. We're gonna throw this in there. That's right. And then we're gonna kill them all. That's how we're gonna kill them all. We're gonna put the police there so they can patrol it and get more money off. That's right. But that's that's true. That's true. But now, the question now is what is the remedy to that? Bring it out. What is the remedy? Now you, what you said is 100% correct. But what is the remedy? Come here. Come here. Come here. Stay here. What is the remedy? What is the solution? Exactly. Changing the mind. Changing the spirit. Read. Leviticus 19, verse 18. Come on. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear grudge against the children of thy people. You know what it means to bear grudge? To bear hatred. That's what our people do here. Our people have been killing each other here for, for there's, there's so many bodies over here. But it's because what? Read that again. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So since the brother sister, we should not bear word against the children of our own people. The so-called blacks and Hispanics, we should not bear grudge against one another. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's evil. Read. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. Thou shalt love each other. Read. As thyself. As the way you love yourself, the way you love you. Brother, the way you love you, that's the way you should love your people. And with that, I say shalom, and the next brother will come up. Get Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33. Keep this in mind. You said you're from the islands? Jeremiah 50, verse 33. We had the Hispanic brother right here, and we got you right here. What unites all of our people? I'm going to show you this one thing. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33. Our people have been oppressed for hundreds of years. So we had 
to find ways to try to overcome it. We joined the Black Panther Party, right? We had the Black Wall Street. We had Islam. 5% nations of gods and earth. But what happened? Over and over again, the so-called white men would do things. Gangs. It messes our people up. But I want to show you something. What unites blacks and Hispanics? Jeremiah 50, verse 33. Listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33. Come on. Thus said the Lord of hope. Right? The children of Israel. Now what you're going to find out today, because we grew up believing the Bible is what? A white man's book. That's where we grew up. We didn't believe that this book belonged to us. Why? Because when the Europeans came, they came with the Bible and they came with the gun. So when we hear the Bible, we're like, no, there's no way we have any association with that. Why? Because when we saw that Bible, it was bloodshed and murder. But look, Jeremiah 50 verse 33, read it again. Jeremiah 50 verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Watch this now. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah is a black man. When you read the description, the prophet Jeremiah was dark skinned. Come on. The children of Israel. The children of Israel are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But the so called white man said, you know what? We're the children of Israel. And we're going to curl our hair and wear tissues. You understand? Watch this. Read on. And the children of Judah. The children of Israel, which are the Hispanics and the children of Judah, is the black man. Go ahead. Right. Were oppressed. Were what? Oppressed. Blacks and Hispanics, what unites us is oppression. We were always oppressed. Read on. Together. We've been oppressed together. That's why. Where do you think the Latin kings come from? They were what? The, the young lords out of Chicago. Bloods and Crips before that started. What was it? It was an organization to help the community. That violence came later. So what unites us is oppression. But how do we get out of oppression? This is what's gonna happen. This is what God said he's gonna happen. Listen to the scripture. Hosea 515, come right up. Bring it Hosea out. Hosea 515. The Bible is the answers to all of our problems. Why do we choose drugs? To escape our reality. Why do we join gangs? Because we don't have fathers. Why do we get poor schooling, poor homes? Because we're the chosen people. And the so-called white man and all the other nations, they want to keep us on the bottom. So Queensbridge houses, Astoria, Jamaica, Queens, we're going to all the projects to teach them the gospel. The good news that what? Christ is a black man. That the black man is a god. That the black man must keep the commandments because that's our power. Read this. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Come on. I will go and return to my place. The Most High God said, I'm going to leave. I'm going to return to the heavens. Watch this. Read on. Till they acknowledge their offense. That's all the Most High wants. All God wants is acknowledgement for our wrongs. We all did evil. You did evil. I did evil. We all wicked as hell. Right. The Most High wants us to acknowledge that. Read on. And seek my face. How do we seek God's face? The Bible. You got to study. Because in the Bible, what do you find? History. The history of a people. And in the Bible, what do you find? Prophecies. What is the future of America? What is the future of the world? Read that part again. And seek my face. And seek my face. So how do we seek God's face? We've got to open that book. We have to open the book. This is far from a white man's book. The Bible condemns him. The Bible condemns him. But what he did, I'm going to show you one more scripture. Get me Psalms chapter 50 and verse 17. The so-called white man said, you know what? Let's take the Bible and let's twist the scriptures. Let's set up churches and religions to create division. So what divides us? Religion, politics, we're not united. Right behind us is all gentrification. They're taking over Queens. Why? Because they don't care about us. That's why it's our job to raise our people up. Read this. Yep. 50 verse 16. Psalms chapter 50 verse 16. What unto the wicked? God says, it didn't say unto wicked people. It said unto the wicked. Meaning what? There's a particular wicked. You wicked. I'm wicked. We all wicked as hell, right? But the Bible says, read this again. But unto the wicked. Meaning there's a particular wicked. Read on. 
God said, what does he say? What has thou to do to declare my statutes? What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Come on. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. How do they take the covenant in their mouth? The covenant is the Bible. They say, oh, you know what? The old covenant and new covenant, that belongs to us. We're the Israelites. We're the people of God. When you read the history, you'll find it as us. But then at the same time, he says, oh, God doesn't exist. So if God does exist, we're his people. But we don't believe he exists. The so-called white man is the devil. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.